we took a trip across the south coast of England to test out some of our favourite outdoor heritage clothing. Going from Rye to Hastings across iconic coastal tracks, we put classic heritage garments through their paces, whether they were made for the great outdoors or not. So we're out of the city today. We've come all the way to Rye with Camber Castle behind us. And we're gonna take a few of our clothes into their natural habitat and give them a little bit of a test drive out in the countryside. Sam doesn't know this, but we're going on a 10 mile hike. <laughs> <laughs> and he's chosen to wear loafers. Yes. Yes. Ten mile hike. We've kept it completely secret you're from lying. you, Sam. You're lying. And he's chosen to wear some Sanders loafers to go on a 10 mile hike. I went for a countryside inspired setup, mixing some military in with a more conventional outdoor clothing. Dana boots, monkey pants, a lavender quilted jacket for warmth, Epperson bag for luggage, and a rugged, comfortable flannel shirt. Sam, on the other hand, turned up for a date in the big city, wearing his favourite pair of full count 0105s, Mersby Shawn and T-shirt, Barracuda G9, and a pair of Sanders loafers. Nobody was confident in how he would fare. I have my wallet, my Tanner Goods keychain, <laughs> and my phone. Yeah, that's all you need. My lime pass. They don't pass do, do lime pass out here, no. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Should we get going? We started on the first leg of the journey from Rye to Winchelsea Beach. Well, of course, it wasn't ideal that I didn't know we were going on a 10 mile trek. I was well up for the challenge. So how, how long is this first bit? I think it's broken up quite evil, evenly into like three mile chunks. What's that? Hackney Central to I don't know, Camden. Camden. Is that three mile? Yeah, exactly. Hackney Downs, isn't it? Fresh into the countryside, Sam was predictably already getting sidetracked. Oh, oh, the sheep are fighting. They're going to do that to you, mate. I feel like I'm on Dalston High Street. Oh, the great mediator. Come on. Oh, what? Wait, is this where we're going? I think stand well back is a, a good piece of advice here. Do they bite? Do they actually bite? I think, well, they eat everything. So I think probably, yeah. No, they're a vegetarian. Like me. Yeah. In an attempt to face his fears, Sam tried to befriend the sheep. I'm crossing cultural boundaries. They, I don't think they like him. They don't like Miles Davis. He's been in the countryside for 10 minutes and he's already trying to befriend sheep. I thought sheep liked the trumpet. That's cows. Oh, that's cows. <laughs> what does sheep like? <laughs> After being rudely rejected by some sheep, I decided to really focus on the task ahead. Oh, more mushrooms. Oh. Um, it's, it's unwise to touch mushrooms with your hands. If we if we walk at this pace, we'll get there by four. <laughs> yeah, if we, if, we, if we keep going, we'll just like have a leisurely stroll and you'll have time to pick up plasters for your blisters. <laughs> ah, well, that's something I must tell you about Sanders butt seam loafers. Oh, tell me. Never had a blister from them. Really? I think loafers were a, were a good choice. idea. I look good. You look good, but will you feel good? With Sam getting distracted every five minutes, it started to sink in just how long this walk might actually take. Oh, I want to go play with a cat. Oh, that is a beautiful cat. I miss my cat. Let's go. As soon as we get to wherever the hell we're going, I can go home to see my cat. We've just crossed the grassland. If we keep walking that way, for another mile or so, we get to Winchelsea Beach, which is where we're gonna stop and let Sam get some water and some snacks so he doesn't die. I'm absolutely fine. How much easier would it be on a line bike? They understand, they get it. Sam was quite relieved to be walking on the road and he even got some water to make him feel right at home. Okay, just behind this hill is the beach. Hopefully. Which means, hopefully which means we are about a third of the way done. How are we feeling? I've done, there are a few puddles and everything, and I've done well in those. They're definitely waterproof up to, <laughs> up to a point. Um, but I, so far... So far, so good. Feet ache slightly, okay. but no, no proper concerns. Natural. I think I've got a stain on my t-shirt though. Oh. But apart from that, I've done very well. Very nice. The beach, I think you're actually gonna be set for, because you picked the Barracuda. Yeah, I've picked, windproof, I'll be I've picked this specifically for the beach because of the wind. So I think hopefully... So it's after... almost like with, when you're told where we're going, <laughs> you can plan properly. Aha! Is it there? <laughs> there is a beach. There is a beach. 
plan is we walk along the beach until we get to those cliffs and the last third of the hike is over those cliffs. I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> we're not actually going. Yeah, no, we're climbing that. There's a bus service there. Buses can't help you now. <laughs> yeah, they can. While we're here, we might as well go down to the sea front, see what we find. We can beach comb, how about that? Well, I'm definitely not a fan of beach combing. I was really starting to appreciate my jacket. I must say though, Barracuda jacket, windproofing, exceptional. My head's freezing, but everything else is, is very well. So of course it's a golf jacket. So you, when you're playing golf, you're exposed to the elements. So the Barracuda cloth is completely windproof. It is quite windy. It's nothing crazy, but it is getting pretty windy. And my head's getting a little bit cold, uh, but my body is really, really warm. I can't feel the wind at all. While Sam was going on and on about his jacket, what we all failed to notice was the fact I was no longer wearing my mic. So we've uh, hit a bit, of, a bit of a problem. The glasses are on. Um, Finn has dropped his microphone. I'm trying to channel my uh, inner Bear grills and track to try and see where we've walked. This is just such an issue because every single... just looks like the top of a microphone. The millions and millions and millions of rocks on this beach that look like a DJI mic. We had literally been combing this beach for over an hour. And just as I started to think that it might be coming out of my savings, I spotted something by my feet. Oh my God, Holy f Spin rat, look how big this beach is. That was genuinely we found like that. finding a needle in the haystack. They're the same size. <laughs> After that small win, we were on a little bit of a high and we started to focus again on the clothes. Yeah, I think these have held up relatively well. I mean, you'd hope so, because they're, they're supposed to be kind of weatherproof, waterproof. But I got up to about ankle level and their feet are still dry, which is good news. <laughs> We weren't dry for long, however. As the rain started to come down, the wet weather began to highlight an unexpected difference in our choices. Excuse my language, but this Barracuda is f***ing brilliant. Look. Bone dry, baby. Sadly, I may have to concede here and say that Sam's choice of the Barracuda was, a, was the best choice. Once again, we lost track of Sam as he tried to be at one with nature. <laughs> I really want to touch a cow. Oh, they're mooing. <laughs> I'm gonna come back now. It's unknown land, it's scary. I genuinely think Sam might have lost his mind. He was doing nothing but complaining when we first got here about how much he wanted to ride line bikes and how much he wanted to find some sort of Uber to pick him up, take him out of the country. And the worst of a time we've had, the more he's enjoying it. I think he's some sort of weird sadist. Sam. Yes. We've been doing this for about, what, three hours? <laughs> yeah, and including, long three hours. Including when I sadly lost the microphone, which I do apologise for. We've been averaging a mile per hour. Very good. So we, Very good. At our current pace. Olympic pace. We'll be back to Hastings by 8pm. <laughs> so it might be worth getting a move on. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for good rocks. Uh, this one looks like a toffee. Now is not the time. <laughs> that looks like a toffee. Give it, give it a taste. <laughs> Knowing Sam, I knew the only way to properly motivate him would be the promise of a pub. But it turned out the journey would be a lot longer than we thought. So, I was hopeful that this was a pub I could really do with some chips. Um, you do realise it's going to be about an hour until we find a pub. We're getting into the more hilly coastal bits, so now we're really going to test what these sanders can do and really show off what, what they can't can do. do. That's more of the question. <laughs> I think I think I'm the, the hike. I think mostly is what I've prepared for. At this point in the trip, a little bit of tension was arising. I wish I had a bit more cushion. <laughs> That's the only thing. Are you saying you're you're a bit jealous of my fully orthopedic lined sanders? Nope. I still look good. I like having the great outdoors, man. Oh, I'd rather be in Dulwich Village. <laughs> I don't go south of the rhythm. To but... be honest, I'm feeling the same way about now. <laughs> We're making progress. 
slowly but surely. We were finally moving and it felt like nothing could get in our way. But as if to punish us, we were hit with a plague of bugs. Oh, there's so many flies. <laughs> I definitely swallowed one earlier. There was a young Sam that swallowed a fly. <laughs> oh, this is not nice. Ah, oh, it's sunny. There's sheep. We're only two hours over schedule. Eventually, after an hour of walking, witnessing Finn's parkour skills and watching our cameraman's fear of bugs, we did find the pub. We've done it. The pub. The door's not open. Oh, no, yeah. the sign's out, the sign's out. Oh, mate, I'm not sure about that. We don't know if we can film inside, but it's open. So we've just had our little pit stop. We've ended up at the cove in Fairlight. Lovely little pub, fantastic food. We met Olivia, um, the landlady is fantastic and the lady on the bar was lovely as well. So I recommend if you're ever in Fairlight, you've got to come to the Cove. Lovely little place, fantastic Guinness yeah, as well. Amazing Ridiculously Guinness, good. Um, lovely burgers too. So they've been amazing for us here. So thank you very much to the guys at the Cove. Um, but I think it is time to keep moving. The weather's <laughs> getting much worse. How are the Sanders treating you? Now that I've sat down, my feet hurt a little bit. Um, no blisters at all, really comfortable, but it's just the, the thin sole is um, over the kind of rocky terrain and through yeah. the pebbles. For a loafer, unbelievable, uh, but my feet are starting to hurt a little bit. For a treat. <laughs> yeah. Since you've, I need an since, you've really, <laughs> since you've really braved it. I did pick something up before I left this morning. Okay. Because you didn't come to the office to meet us, you came straight to the station. Bear in mind, that was 6.50 our train was, AM. I had noticed you'd kept your... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. The trusty Clusas. Which are, it's a, it's a hiking shoe. This is... <laughs> and a dress shoe, all in one. So hopefully... It Perfect. Will keep your, it will go with the outfit. It will keep your classy look. Oh, God. But be a little bit more comfortable for you. No, because no, no. sympathy. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. You're very welcome. Enjoy some, <laughs> you can enjoy some comfort. I'm ready, I'm ready to go now. I was feeling a bit sluggish. The next leg of our journey would take us to the highest point in Hastings. The wind had started to pick up as we were learning more and more about the importance of making good choices. Rabbit! You seen Watership Down? Yeah. Sad what, though. Watership Down Heart is a beautiful brain. film, but it's, it's really It's bad. also for kids. That is it's traumatizing. I, I think I'm a bit weird because I got shown that as a kid. It's not why you're a bit weird, Finn. Oh, so we're currently in probably the highest point of Hastings and there's lightning just there. So I think Who's Sam, taller? I'm probably I'm the tallest person. Oh, world, we're so. f***ed. You're f***ed. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm a bit. I think it's moving that way. But also, as I think we can tell from our experience here, Neither of us particularly good outdoorsmen, so it could be like moving straight towards us. Ah, the wind's going that way. Onwards! Which way are we go? <laughs> God, the grip I have. <laughs> I mean, the grip on my Paraboot's Clusaz. Oh. The, the Clusaz is actually a low version of the Avoriaz. The Avoriaz comes from actually technically a Paraboot, but also technically not a Paraboot. So the Avoriaz was a Galibier, which was another brand that was part of the Paraboot family and run by Michel, who was Mr. Paraboot's um, Remy. His, it was his son who ran Galibier and they made hiking boots. It was just some, a way to separate the different kind of boot. And then in the 90s, they brought it back as an ode to that era. And then I don't know exactly when, but they then made the low version, the Clusaz, which is my preference. I don't like a high boot. So Lavenham, they made horse blankets, which you put over horses. They weren't the only people to do that, but um, originally they were made of hemp. And when they get wet, they'd get really, really heavy. It was like adding 20 kilos to a horse. And so Lavenham really made, made their, their name by inventing the quilted blanket. Uh, it wasn't a jacket at first, it wasn't a vest, it was purely a, a blanket. And then uh, as the brand grew, they made vests, they made clothing out of it. And um, that's why they're so well known. Also, still made in England. Oh. 
and still all made in England, which is really great. After hours of walking, we started to gear up for the home stretch. <laughs> we expected to see Hastings as we got to the top of this hill, but we were met with a completely different sight. All right, boys, joke's over. Yeah, hold on, this is... <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about this. What actually greeted us was four very steep hills. Glad I gave you those clues, Sass. Yeah, I... <laughs> Imagine doing this in, uh, in Sanders. I would have been absolutely fine. <laughs> With all of our phones quickly running out of battery, we decided to turn off Google Maps. Unfortunately, Sam was the one guiding us. No, three miles this way. Hastings. Oh. I, I, I'm, I know I keep saying this, I know where we are. Despite apparently being here before, it became clear that Sam did not, in fact, know where he was going. I did know where I was going, but unfortunately all four hills looked identical and the sign did say Hastings. Incredible how many different landscapes we've seen on this hike. <laughs> As our extended detour continued, we needed to find new ways to entertain ourselves. If we race down this hill, someone will get hurt. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Safely at the bottom of the hill, Sam channeled his inner tour guide and remembered some important moments from his past. Come, come, let me show you something. But if you see this sign here, it's a complete lie. It's just to deter people from going to the nudist beach. If you follow this path around, it'll take you to one of the loveliest nudist beaches in England. Unfortunately, we couldn't think about nudists for too long as we were rudely interrupted by stairs. This is ridiculous. I need to go home. I hope this comes across on camera, but we've been walking for hours and hours and hours. Oh, shit. up and down. Finn, I have my back. I need my lip balm. As Sam completed his spa day, tensions rose to an all-time high. Oh, I always knew where we were. I can't handle Sam anymore. As the sun began to set, our spirits dropped even further as we encountered the fourth hill. Every time we make a little bit of progress, it just completely restarts. And we've the got hill. I'm another massive hill. Yeah. This has got to be the last one. It's horrid. Even as terrible as we felt, the outstanding beauty of the area was starting to win us over. You know what? It's not bad. I like Hastings. <laughs> Too many hills, <laughs> but it is beautiful. Too many stairs. Too many, stairs. Too many hills. <laughs> Look at this. We've come from up there. We've done these hills. These are small ones as well. We've done about five of these and they cut in. You think you're on the other side, and it goes up and then comes down I again. I think it's the out. reason we've taken so long, is because we're just up and, up down. and down. I'm sure you can go across there. Yeah. If, if only someone had a little map that <laughs> yeah. told them to go over the top. Shh, but we wouldn't have had all of these adventures. <laughs> we carried on for another hour or so before finally Sam found exactly what he was looking for. Looking over Hastings, it got me thinking about the last time I was here. Last time I came to Hastings, I had a really fun time at the Jack of the Green Festival where I got up to nothing dangerous or irresponsible at all. And I actually don't regret any of it. I did have a moment of realisation at the Green Man Festival where I realised that I had missed the last train and I'd be sleeping on the beach and it sort of sunk in. I was quite cold. And after that, I came straight to work, so, you know. You smelt like salt water. I smelt like salt water because I'd been in the sea. But I knew the actions and I knew the consequences, so you know, I can't let the team down. So the trip may have gone awry, but we were finally in Hastings. Unfortunately, Sam's pre-booked dinner plans quickly fell apart. So I've got one little surprise. Oh no. I've booked us a dinner that we've missed the reservation for. Um, so I'm hoping it, it doesn't seem that busy, so I'm hoping we can go down and we have a nice meal. Finn, you're not really in oh, attire. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, Is so, it a nice meal? Yeah, so hopefully they'll let you in. I'm going to switch back into my loafers oh and, my and the boys will be fine, but I, you might have to be outside. <laughs> come on. Surprising absolutely nobody, we were not on time for our meal. And so we went on the hunt for alternative provisions. I don't have a winkle. I don't want a winkle. I don't have a coin. So we missed our booking, obviously, and they didn't have a table for us. So I tried to take us to the fish hut, and it's closed. 
I think we might call it. Can we go back, can we go back to London now, please? I think the last, whatever it was, three kilometers or three miles or whatever it said on that sign, where we had the choice, you, to yeah, the choice to go. To be fair, right. as much as I do regret it now, the straight line didn't say Hastings. So the obvious, the obvious sort of uh, hero. I'm wearing odd socks today, I apologize. You know what, I actually, I haven't properly cleaned them since. I gave them a wipe. They look amazing. They These might be the best shoe I've ever owned in my life. And I'm quite, I'm a bit of a shoe snob, but I am so attached to these pair of shoes now. Also, they have held up so well. Well, they've got absolutely They got covered. destroyed, yeah. If we get, can we get my para boots, please? Yeah. Obviously, the end of the hike was the most challenging yeah, bit. But, yeah. I think I would have been in a sticky situation at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I mean, the, the end, we were hiking yeah. up the mud, I needed a okay. proper sole. Um, I, I kind of wish I'd stuck with these, though. I yeah, want to see. Just, for the, just to see. Yeah, but I would have been in a bad mood, I think. Dan is sort of less surprising in a very good way. Uh, they're just very reliable. I think they were comfortable, you know, I hadn't worn them much beforehand and there was sort of no breaking period. They're really, really cushioned inside. I think you've literally worn them for like I've worn minutes, like, yeah. periods. It has yeah, a bit, yeah, it's yeah. not, you hadn't broken them in or anything. I was, I was worried when I, like, I, into I was yeah. looking at that as well, thinking you're, <laughs> just gonna do a hike in a shoe yeah. you've never really broken yeah, in. Yeah, well that was the thing, it was like, I knew that they, I, well, I was hoping they'd fare better than the Sanders and... Nothing will fare better than these Sanders. But that was my biggest concern, obviously they're a hiking boot, they're yeah. tried and tested. I think that's the thing about the Danners as well, like I I have a pair of mountain lights and yeah. I didn't have to break those in either. Yeah, they're amazing. They're, they're just not really a shoe you need to. Barracuda G9, probably the star of the show. Yeah, I don't want to say like I was overwhelmingly surprised. I thought it would fare well, but I didn't think we were going to get rained on as much like as how, we did. How yeah. well it fared. Yeah. It was ridiculous. The wind resistance as well, it was properly windy. You were, you were sat, on, sat on the beach at one point. I lay down. Yeah, there was, you were, yeah, it was blowing all over the place. It was absolutely fine. Cozy. My yeah. face was freezing, but otherwise absolutely fantastic. It dried up really quickly as well. So, like I said, the Lavenham jacket, I was wearing a blue one, but we've got a green one here because um, they do them in a few different colours. And I actually think I would have gone with the green one if I was to buy it again. Mm. Because I, I like the blue one, but the green one... It's classic. It's just classic. And I think it's more... You can pair it with more. But I you know, I was in a, a, a wool Hartford shirt and this, and I was too hot like on the yeah. wall. It, it really kept me warm on the beach. Mm. But as soon as we were up in the, in the, in the mountains hiking, I was sort of like... Yeah. Yeah. I was wishing it was 10 degrees colder because it, it does a very good job at insulating. <laughs> so what did you think was happening? Because obviously you didn't know that there was a, a 10 to 15 mile I hike genuinely, happening. I thought we were shooting a, some sort of look for Lavenham. Yeah. So I thought we were going... It, it, which is why only I was wearing Lavenham. I assumed there was some in the many bags that we'd yeah. ended up bringing. So I just wore what I'd wear. And I thought we were going to Hastings. I wasn't really, I didn't overthink why we ended up going to Rye and you saying get yeah. a one-way ticket. I just, I, I wish I'd thought about it a bit more. But we went to Hastings. I thought we were going to go to the beach. Like we did with, um, yeah. where did we go before? Folkestone. Folkestone. Yeah. I thought it would be exactly the same as that. We'd go there and then we'd have a nice dinner at the end of the day and then we'd get the train home. Yeah. Was not <laughs> one in the mood or ready for what ended up being an eight and a half, no. however long it was, yeah, yeah. hour hike. Well, because we thought, we we planned it as a five hour hike. Right. The sign said, did we film these signs? No. Because if not, I'm going back. <laughs> I, <think laughs> I need proof of this. There was a split in the road and it said three miles Hastings that way. And then 1.6 miles, some random car park. We could have probably gone up to the main road and walked along. Yeah. But did you want to work on the main road? If I'm going to the countryside, I, I, I really enjoyed it, but it was nice that I get to come home. Yeah. I don't like the idea of this being far away from everything just because you have sheep at the end of your road. I'd not, rather you, have a shop. Do you not find it peaceful though? Yeah, but my road's peaceful. <laughs> just off the high street. It's really quiet. Fair enough. It's a low traffic neighborhood. <laughs> it was lovely. It, yeah. it, no, it was really, really fun. And I, I did enjoy it. And it was beautiful. The adventure was great. I think I also enjoyed that it got really shitty and rainy. And yeah. It was just a mess. Um, 
It was sort didn't of a get fun. to touch a sheep, so well over them. They've got something wrong with them. Um, they don't want to be friends at all. Cows were too far away, so didn't get to play with them. There was a cat. Cat ran away. City cats don't run away. I think some do. I think some do. Nah, not from me. I, I don't know. I would definitely do it again. Yeah. We're talking Not, about going to the countryside. What are you talking about? I would do it I again. I would maybe do it again.